It's the switch that moved Kenya into another era of television viewing, digital broadcasting. Kenya is only the second African country to start the migration to digital television era, which promises better picture and sound quality than viewed with the current analog system. This will ensure that many Kenyans can continue enjoying their favorite television programs. Kenyans now have been given a grace period of two and a half years before the current system goes out of use when the analog system will be switched off in June 2012. Since the announcement that Kenya will be making a digital switch and the subsequent launch of the digital signal today, the question on most people's mind has been what will happen to their TV sets at home. So all TVs are able to, to receive, uh, to receive uh, that signal, provided you have the set of box. Indeed, contrary to the word in the street, no TV sets currently on the Kenyan market are able to receive the signal. Thus, they have to be fitted with a converter box. Much like the pay TV decoder, it is connected to the external antenna on one side and the television set on the other. And the results are evident. Its current market price is around 6,000 shillings. But the government hopes to make them much more affordable through tax waivers. I am directing both the ministers for finance and information and communications to find means of providing tax relief for importation of this very this new technology. With this device, one no longer has to keep adjusting the TV antenna as all channels will be contained in one transmission frequency. The current system works on assigned frequencies that have clogged the airwaves since each TV channel has its own transmission frequency. With one transmitter, you are able to give up to uh, 16 channels. It's undoubtedly a welcome technology that not only offers affordability, but the number of opportunities for those willing to venture into television has just jumped many fold. And just as the head of state puts it, <laughs> Kenyans will be expected to have completed the migration to digital broadcast by June 2012, ahead of the 2015 global deadline for total migration. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen TV.